Now, the conviction in South Africa of eight police officers for the murder of a Mozambican taxi driver has further tarnished the reputation of the police in that country. Around 1,000 people die in South Africa every year in police custody or as the result of police action. Well, earlier we spoke to the journalist Fumani Nkizi, who's in Durban. Masia uh, was stopped in Davidson uh, while he was driving his taxi. Uh, the, the police said he was causing a traffic jam and therefore tried to arrest him. And um, he, he felt it within his rights to resist arrest. And, um, uh, and while the police officers were arresting him, they handcuffed him to the back of a police van and proceeded to drag him for a distance of about 500 meters through the streets of Davidson. And this incident was captured on cell phone uh, cameras and it went viral across uh, South Africa and across the world. And that incident highlighted a very worrying trend of police brutality in South Africa. Once Mido Masia was dragged through the streets of Davidson, his ordeal didn't end there. Masia was actually also beaten up in police custody, and that's where he also died. Um, in terms of the injuries he sustained, he received lacerations on his head, on his chest, on his jaw, and he also had bite marks on his, uh, on his tongue. Their defense was they handcuffed Mido Masia to the back of the police van by accident. Uh, the judge found that quite improbable. And the, the, one of the police officers also claimed that Mido Masia um, attacked him and tried to disarm him by taking his firearm. Um, but there were eight police officers on the scene, and therefore Judge Bert Baum found that version of events quite improbable and, uh, and dismissed it. And uh, Bert Baum really threw the book at the police officers. He was unequivocal in, the, in actually telling them that uh, they were guilty of murdering uh, Mino Masia because he died in a very tra uh, tragic and brutal manner uh, from being dragged through the streets for about 500 meters and also suffering extensive abuse in, in police cells. Um, he died alone and um, he never received uh, medical attention, which of course would have saved his life. South Africa has, uh, contains a lot of uh, incidents of police brutality, and convictions are, are quite rare. Um, and in this incident, is, it was quite fortunate that it was captured on, uh, on video, and, and therefore it, it contributed to the successful conviction of the eight police officers. Sentencing is going to be held on the 22nd of September, which is next month. And in South Africa, the minimum uh, sentence for murder is 15 years. And uh, Judge Bert Baum is a no-nonsense type of judge. So, well, it, it really remains to be seen how lenient or, or, or how harsh um, he will be on them. But, um, yeah, these officers can expect a minimum sentence of, of, of 15 years in prison. That's the journalist Romani Mkhizi speaking to us from Durban a little earlier.